Hey, so what is going on, guys? It is Domino, and we are back again with a gameplay commentary. We're playing some Modern Warfare 3. This is Sea Town Moab. Nothing too amazing, and it's just going to pretty much form the backdrop for the main topic of this video today, which you guys have probably guessed already is going to be about my top five favorite Call of Duty videos on YouTube of all time. And obviously, there's people out there with different opinions and stuff. But this is just my favorite top five. I'm not too sure about the order, and some of you guys will remember them, some of you won't. And if you haven't seen them, I'd recommend going checking them out again. They're some of the videos which I really like to go back and watch sometimes. So, without further ado, let's get down to number five. Now, number five I picked because it was just a beast gameplay full stop, and it was by the mark of J, and it was during Black Ops, and he went 101 and 1, which to date is still one of the best gameplays I've seen, especially KD wise. I've seen a little bit better, I think Fear Crowds went like 100 and 0 or something like that, but uh, still on Black Ops it was a pretty beast game, and he was using the Cujos, I think, and Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, you know, the usual big setup, and it was pretty much the first video he announced himself as like a really good player on Black Ops, and he, to date I guess he was like the best player on Black Ops and it was just a video that put him out there and I really enjoyed watching it. He got a massive gun streak and it was just a good commentary as well. So I just I really enjoyed watching that one. So that's why it's a number five. Now number four I have actually chosen a Woody video, um one of Woody's dissecting videos. So you guys may have known recently that he dissected Incredible Orb, which I didn't think was that great. Um but he used he started this series like a couple of years ago for those of you guys who don't know and he pretty much dissected like all the beast players who were around then and one of them was ex Socrates. Now ex Socrates um he doesn't post anymore. I think he's like in the Air Force or something like that. But back in the day he was considered the best player on YouTube. And I think it was in like 2010 during Modern Warfare 2 people actually knew he was like the best player and I think Wings made a video with him I think I think he used his gameplay and said he was the best player. FPS Kyle, who was FPS Russia at that time, those guys who probably know FPS Russia, he said he was the best player as well. And all in all, he was just a beast player to watch. And Woody's dissecting video just kind of gave us an insight into how to play like him. And he had like the snap on aim, you know. And he had some of the great gameplays out there, like the 50 plus TDMs and stuff. And I just used to love watching him, fast paced and stuff. It wasn't like I couldn't really replicate it, but it, at the same time, it was a really fun thing to do. And yeah, that's why I'm going with that number four. So number three, I have chosen Wings of Redemption's first Machinima post. Now, I could have picked quite a few of Wings of Redemption videos, especially during Modern Warfare 2, because they were all pretty helpful and they gave you a really good insight into how to get better and stuff. But this one in particular, because it was his first post on Machinima, which was pretty big at that time, and obviously it's still now really big, and it was just starting out on everything. So he went, he got a dual nuke in his first post, which was pretty awesome. I think he was using the Scar on Terminal, and what made that gameplay extra special for me was the way he played it. He played it defensively, and then I started to kind of base my playstyle off that, as you guys know. And he went, I can't, I can't remember the final score, but he got the AC-130s, the, the two nukes, and it was just, it was a pretty awesome gameplay. And he used, like, the cover and stuff, which I've started to use, like... I started to use back then and it worked really well for me. I pretty much went into terminal knowing that I could get the nuke just by playing like that eventually during the game. And all in all it was just a great gameplay to watch. And as I said I could have picked so many Modern Warfare 2 ones from him because they always taught me something a little bit different. And kind of the opposite now, number 3, we're going to go with Sandy Ravage. Now Sandy Ravage uploaded, I think it was a video, I can't remember what it was called, I think it was called Spaz 12 Silenced on Skid Row or something like that. In which he got like, I think it was like maybe a hundred kills running around with a Spaz 12 Silenced. And he didn't have stopping bar, he had lightweight on. And in the background you could just hear the ACDC music. And it was just so fast paced and so thrilling to watch that it was just awesome. He got like, I think at one point he called in like three AC-130s in a row. He waited them to get them on the A spawn trap. But this is one of the videos I'd really recommend watching guys. I'm going to link all the videos as I said. And... It was just so worth watching because he calls in like three AC one thirties on A and it's just you hear multi kill, triple kill and all that kind of stuff and all the effects he had on the video. And I just love watching it, especially I watch it nowadays when I'm rushing and stuff, just with the A C D C music on in the background and it just helps me play for some reason. But it's a great video to watch. I recommend watching that one. And of course, number one. Now number one is gonna go to X Cow and we'll talk about this video for a little bit because I actually didn't see it when it first came out and I think it was in like two thousand and nine. He was playing, I think it was Team Deathmatch on, um, what map was it? I think it was Block on Call of Duty 4, and it was it was uncommentated, but he went 50, I, th I think it was 50 to 2 maybe with the Scorpions, and I think he called it Annihilation, and I think to date people have considered that the best gameplay out there, um, considering, you know, 50 kills at 2009, people didn't even know what was going on in that game at 2009. I mean, I remember when I used to play it back then, I was so, so bad. And I guess he was one of the first people to take the initiative to try and actually do well in Call of Duty. 
and that's kind of why I'm putting it at number one. And as we all know, Xcal is king, and he's just um, a beast player to watch. And I don't know how he does it. He uses the most random setups. I mean, the Scorpion was not a bad gun in Call of Duty 4, but it it really didn't compare to like the MP5 and stuff. And even when I was talking about Socrates before, he uses like the MP5 and the M16, you know, the good guns, and getting 50 kill TDMs like that. What well, Xcal was doing it with a Scorpion silenced on what can only be described as a pretty much a sniper map block was a huge, huge sniper map. And it was just, I don't know, it was just epic to watch, you know, he was on like a 20-something kill streak, and he was just going ham, and that is a gun streak, by the way, because the kill streaks don't really do as much work as they do in like the games nowadays, but all in all, it was just an amazing gameplay to watch, and I hope you guys go and actually check out some of these videos, I, I don't know if I've like sold them that well to you, I've just kind of randomly talked about them, but hopefully you have seen some of them before, or you know which ones I'm talking about, and I would recommend going back and watching them again, even if you've seen them before, because if you take into context, context when these film, when these movies, no, movies, films, what am I on about? When these videos actually came out, um, they were pretty remarkable. And like, as I said, like the dual nuke in Modern Warfare 2, not many people have done that early on. Um, 50 kill TDM, they're all, they're all pretty special, and I'd recommend going and checking them out. And they're from all my favourite commentators as well. So, hope you guys have, I don't know, you've not really learned anything, but hopefully you guys can check them out and you can understand why I've picked them and maybe you guys have a differing order to me in which you can tell me or maybe you have some of your own videos yourself which you think are amazing so hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys next time peace